Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gamer Spooky video. So today, Cuphead actually just got an update. So like, I kind of was confused for a little bit, but now it turns out I can choose whichever player I want to be or to play as if I'm player one. So I choose Cuphead because he's like my favorite. I, I'm not, I, I like the color red, okay, not to be racist or anything to Mugman. But anyway, this video, I am going to teach you how to beat the devil. Now, I know I may not do it on the first try, because trust me, I have tried to do it on the first try, and it has never worked out. But I usually get it done quicker every single time. So you want a deck like this, roundabout, spread, super art number two, and then the smoke bomb charm. Um, charm. And I'm going to teach you how to beat this game mode in regular, because, you know, if you're a beginner and you just made it to this level, whoa, bro, that actually wasn't there before. Look at this update, bro. They just added an animation inside the pictures. Bro, look, that's actually cool. I'm not going to lie. That's like the best thing I have seen. This is actually really good animation. So, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to beat the devil in normal mode, because if you're a beginner player, and you just made it to this level, and you're kind of stuck on it, I'm going to teach you how to beat it in normal mode, so that way that you can beat the game, and then go into extra mode. I know that it's kind of a bad time to start with the devil, but, you know, I'm just doing it because it's kind of one of my favorite bosses. So, the roundabout... I like to choose this weapon because it does a lot of damage and it actually has a lot of range. Like you see right there. You want to jump right about there and then do a dash to keep you up in the air longer. So that way those arms don't get you. You want to move about here, parry, smoke box, smoke grenade. That's why I chose the smoke grenade. So that way... Oh, okay. I almost thought I was going to take damage there. It turns out I wasn't. And the spider's coming up now, so he's going to come up on the ceiling. You want to be careful, because you don't want to, like, get hit. So just dash when necessary. Just keep hitting him. Oh, you see, I was a little late then. I kind of jumped too early. But look, I already made it to the second stage with 2 HP. And now I, you go in the hole. And this is kind of where it gets a little tricky. Now, poker chips are going to be coming in from the ceiling. So if it starts out, oh man, yeah, I meant to parry that. If it starts out on the left, then what you want to do, the poker chips, if they start out on the left, then you want to start, then it's going to go in the right direction. If it starts in the right, it's going to go in the left direction. And so you, it's if you know the rhythm, it's kind of easy to dodge. Oh man. You see, I told you I never really beat it every single time, but I do usually make it pretty far. Whereas a beginner player would probably make it past the first few moves. Funny thing is, like, I didn't think a game like this would have an update. I always thought it would be the same since it's a story game. But it turns out games like this can actually have updates. And with Cuphead DLC coming out this year. That's going to be a lot. So yeah, just shoot the head with the roundabout, because the roundabout does the most damage. I would say go into the corner. I know it's kind of a stupid idea to go into the corner, but it actually makes it easier to, like, see where all those things are going to when they start homing on to you. This, now the snake, you want to be careful for any demons coming in on the sides. You don't want to get that lost HP. And now we're at the second stage right here. So, I'll just go down to the hole. And so if the, like I said, poker chips, depending on what's, you see they're on the right side now. The poker chips, they're falling from the ceiling on the right side, and they're going towards the left of the screen. So, so I just like move into a different location, and then I move back, you know, when it's appropriate. Yeah, this time I parried that, and now I have... Oh, but this is going to be kind of bad. Oh, good thing that was there. 
Oh no. Okay, this is where I was suggest getting your spread out, because there's those monsters. Yep, those monsters. The spread will take him out quickly, but you have to make sure your aim is on point. The reason that I make mistakes, because I'm not perfect, but I am pretty good. It has taken a lot of practice to get, to get this good at the game. Oh, also, another reason I like the roundabout is because when the spider formation comes, the route, some of the delayed shots can hit the spider a little bit. So, yeah. So, yeah, anyway. Oh, you want to move to the side? Just parry when, I mean, smoke grenade when you need to. And... And yep, and those demon, that demon came in from the side, and he got me. I probably wasn't going to ever make it out of that situation right there. But now I'm right here. And so I'm focusing on the axe, because it goes in a circular rotation. And based on where you were, you have to move or else it will get... Oh. <laughs> I guess that... I, I pressed lock in and then it forced me to jump off the platform. Please note that I am not so stupid that I would actually jump. Just parry this and then just dodge a little bit, you know, in the middle. They'll go farther out from the screen later. Ooh, that was lucky. That was actually pretty lucky. I sometimes have those shots, but not all the time. Yeah, a spread is sometimes good to use in this situation because the spread is actually really close encounter. But I like the roundabout because it does more damage. I am, we're at the second stage already with 3 HP. So I would say that we're pretty good start. You never want to think that you're going to win the match just because you have 3 HP when you get to the second stage. Because the second stage means nothing. Parry the bombs, because those things have long distance. Go over here, follow the poker chips, make sure you understand the pattern. I'm just going to go over here just so I can make sure I don't get blown up. Because you see if I was right here? Okay, I'm going to make sure. Oh, I parried that. And it was kind of helpful for a little bit. Now I'm just going to use the spread. That poker chip's gone, so I know it's safe to go here. I always like ducking, just so in case... Ooh. Okay. And sometimes, if you need to, you're welcome to dash. And now this is where I would use my super meter. You know. Um... And look! I got the knockout. So how many tries did I take? I would say about three, maybe four. I have no idea. Now let's see what grade I got. You see my top grade is a B. I probably didn't get a top grade because I lost all my HP at the beginning. But I got pretty good. Yeah, I would say that's about, oh, the exact same grade. So yeah, that's basically all it is to it. So yeah, that's how you beat the devil. And you get the ending, and the good ending, and everybody is happy. And so, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below anything you would want to say. And yes, thanks for watching.